Have you ever wondered how all the cool stuff we hear, see or buy gets to us? Or who dreams up the latest fashion, the funky new food, new drink flavors or the next huge car design? I'm Tokes Olagundoye here in New York City and this is Really Cool Jobs featuring short profiles of some of the world's coolest jobs. People just like you go to work every day and love what they do. Today we're going behind the scenes to learn about the business of distributing independent movies. And we'll be checking out Daniel Katz, Head of Acquisitions at Think Film, which was one of the new leading studios responsible for bringing us some great indie films. And he's only 28. Do you would tell us a little bit about your job and how you got it? I am the Vice President of Acquisitions at Think Film. Think Film is a worldwide distribution company that buys films, completed ones, at markets and brings them to audiences. Tell us about your experience that you had before you came to Think Film. Went to go work at Lionsgate for free as an intern, and then when this opportunity came at Think Film, jumped on it, and here I am now. The reason I got into the, uh, the movie business is really the power of the medium um, and the power of movies to change the way one looks at the world. My kind of calendar year begins in Toronto at the Toronto Film Festival, and I uh, probably travel on average of... Uh, I don't know, eight to ten weeks a year, including spots like Venice, Cannes in the south of France, Park City for the Sundance Film Festival, Austin for the South by Southwest Film Festival. I also love the Tribeca Film Festival, which happens every fall in New York City. It gives me the opportunity to see and spend time with others in the industry right here in Manhattan. Plus, I get to mix business and pleasure with a lot of great members of the press, important film critics, and the publicity community. We get to speak with them at length about our upcoming and future projects, such as 10 Items or Less and some Sundance docs, including War Dance and Zoo. The festival was created and is run each year by actor Robert De Niro and his partner producer, Jane Rosenthal. Which film festival is your favorite? They're all different. Cannes, in the south of France, is the most glamorous film festival. Never even dreamed of going there before I got this job. The European community really treats us like royalty. Plus, the French women are great. Everyone there has an unbelievable time while seeing and buying the best and most marketable films the entire world has to offer. Sundance uh, Film Festival is the most fun because it's actually the most vital. Venice Film Festival, where I was on a, a yacht, we'd had plenty of champagne to drink. Uh, Al Green in a 14-piece band comes out on the deck of the boat and does a concert for about 90 minutes. When, when I'm trying to differentiate my personal taste from what I think will be good for our company. One, I think, it, I think I'm fairly representative of the average consumer. And the way to do it less expensive is by um, finding films that you know critics will get behind and films that have strong word of mouth. I probably see something like part of five movies a day over the course of eight days that comes out to 40 movies approximately. During the week, probably review maybe a dozen projects a week. Do you ever hang out with any filmmakers or actors? I executive produced a um, film called Awesome, I Fucking Shot That, and it's starring the Beastie Boys. It was directed by MCA, one of the Beastie Boys, and it stars the Beastie Boys. And the first meeting that we had with them on this project was actually in their studio down in Tribeca, and that was as cool as it gets. And what do filmmakers and producers do to make you interested in their films? There was a film that we distributed called Down in the Valley, and it stars Ed Norton. We had several meetings with Edward Norton about the project, and I can't help thinking that that was an effective way by the producer to get us more excited in the project than maybe we would have been if we hadn't met with him. What are some of the more successful films you've distributed? We did a film with Sean Penn called The Assassination of Richard Nixon a couple years ago. You can't take your eyes off him when he's in films. I, I think Ryan Gosling in Half Nelson is a very, very talented young actor and, and, and is a, a huge part of why that film is, I think, so wonderful. The other night we took a little trip down to the Angelica, which is one of New York's premier independent film theaters, for Think Film screening of their new feature, Half Nelson, which stars Ryan Gosling of The Believer and The Notebook. And after the screening, we had a word with the film's director, Ryan Fleck. Dan Katz and the Think Film team 
They saw the film at Sundance where we premiered it in January and um, he really understood the movie and it was really exciting to have people get it. Dan, Dan Katz is a monster. He'll put you under. Daniel Katz, an enigma. What do you think about Daniel Katz? Don't like him at all. Gorgeous, um, he's, a little, he's a little short. I'm from the Midwest. I, I remember kind of thinking, I, I can't believe I'm here. You know, I can't imagine if I were an accountant or a dentist <laughs> having these kinds of experiences. What upcoming Think Film release should we be looking out for? It's a film called Short Bus. It's by the director of Hedwig and the Angry Itch. I am looking forward to seeing what the world thinks of this film. If you could change the movie business, what would you do? It would be that the best films do the best at the box office. Now that's a really cool job. We hope we've given you some insight into the business of making, buying and distributing movies. And the next time you're looking for a good smart film, keep an eye out for the Think Film logo. Be sure to join us again as we travel across the country in search of more really cool jobs. Until then, this is Tokes Olagundoy wishing you luck with everything you do. See you later.